Ever since Huawei launched the P20 Pro with three cameras, it was only a matter of time until the company went even bigger. The Mate 20 hasn't even been announced yet, but the Mate 20 Lite has just arrived with no less than four AI cameras. There's a 20 megapixel primary sensor with f1.8 aperture, and a secondary two megapixel sensor that's used for depth information to create those portrait mode bokeh effects. But the real action is on the front, where a 24 megapixel camera with f2.0 aperture is supported by another two megapixel sensor. The selfie camera uses pixel binning to combine light data from adjacent pixels into what Huawei calls a fusion pixel for better low light selfies. The Mate 20 Lite is obviously targeted at the selfie crowd, a demographic that used to be the sole domain of honor. To push the young and fun point even further, Huawei is introducing animated Qmoji in the EMUI 8.2 software found on the Mate 20 Lite. Because there's four cameras, you can also face unlock the Mate 20 Lite from pretty much any angle. The 6.3 inch LTPS panel occupies 81% of the device's footprint. It's Full HD Plus with a 19.5 to 9 aspect ratio and 2.5D glass. There's a notch, yes, but it can be camouflaged in the settings if it bothers you, and you can also enable the app drawer. Everything is pretty much stock standard EMUI here, so you'll already know if you're going to like the software experience on the Mate 20 Lite or not. It arrives with Android 8.1 Oreo on board, but will obviously be updated to Android Pie. In terms of design, the Mate 20 Lite is stylish if not exactly awe-inspiring like some other recent Huawei devices. There's a new Kirin 710 chipset backed up by 4GB of RAM with 64GB of internal storage, expandable to 256GB with an SD card. A 3750mAh battery is meant to get average users over two days of usage and heavy users a day and a half, but we'll wait for the full review to pass judgement on that. Hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you're among the first to know when we upload a new video. If you're a mobile gamer, GPU Turbo and AI Game Suite will get you a 60% GPU power increase with 30% power consumption reduction. It can also switch from 4G to LTE seamlessly so you'll never miss a beat while gaming. Speaking of beats, plug a pair of headphones into the 3.5mm headphone jack and you can enable Huawei Histon 5.0 sound effects. Either pick the preset you want or let the Mate 20 Lite work it out based on whatever you're listening to. In the wake of Honor encroaching on Huawei territory with the high-spec Honor Play, the Mate 20 Lite feels a lot like Huawei heading further in Honor's direction. Given that the P-Series was always treated as the photography range in Huawei stable, we can only imagine what performance gains we can expect from the Mate 20 when it launches with the Kirin 980 chipset, and then just how many cameras we might end up with in next year's P-Device. The Mate 20 Lite will be available September 5 for £379 or €399, Euros, jumping into the same competitive price bracket occupied by devices with far more impressive specs than the Mate 20 Lite, but definitely fewer cameras.